are. <laughs> we are live today, once again. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm Gary. And our top story today is the top three sellers in today's market. Yes, who is selling in today's market? Well, they fall into three main categories. That's right. The number one category are the super seniors. They are moving up. They're taking their equity and they are moving on to other things. That's correct. And the number two is the mover uppers. The people that have been in their house and now they're, oh, I need a home office. Oh, I need a yard for the dog and the kids. I need a pool. Don't want a pool. That is the category number two. Yes. Uh, number three is our downsizers. So people that have been in their homes a long time and they no longer need the yard for the kids and the dog, they are downsizing, maybe buying a condo that they can lock and go now that we can go back to travel, and they are looking at that, looking at making it e easier, no yard work, and they want to downsize and want less home. So those are our three main categories of sellers in today's market. Well, we kind of have a super packed show today, but that was our top story for sure. Yes. The average U.S. inventory nationwide is down 50.9%, so down 51%. So it's not just us here in our local Ventura County market that is feeling the squeeze. That is across everywhere in the U.S., 51%. That is a lot. Uh-huh. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, were you going to go over the statistics yes, here? Yes, we have some statistics. I thought this, I'm trying to get it up here so I can see our people, but I don't have it up in, fr in, fr in front of me yet. So, we have, I thought this graph, I want to show my yep, graph, yep, yep, I that it. with the inventory down 51%, I thought one of the interesting things is that the price appreciation, that's going to be hard for you to see this, but see the red line? This is a map of the U.S. This red line of which states have the highest price appreciation tend to be the ones where all the Californians are moving. <laughs> Arizona, Utah, Idaho, and Washington are up, you know, 17%, 19%, 23%. So it correlates, and it, cor and it correlates directly to the inventory going down. So I just want to point that out. Um, and then our Ventura County statistics, this is a year to date uh, for May. So May 2020 year to date to May 2021 year to date. And you can see our new listings are up uh, 28, almost 28.5%, which you know doesn't quite jive with all this low inventory talk. But if you remember last year, we were basically closed in April. Um, and so there wasn't a lot listed in April. So it started to pick up again in May. But still this year in May, we're up on 3461 listings in Ventura County uh, year to date. But a year ago... That's basically the, the COVID lockdowns in California started in March. So March, April, May, everybody was kind of trying to figure out the whole scenario of what it might look like in the future. So a year ago, people were not putting their homes on the market. They were more afraid of what was coming than what was actually coming that we didn't know about. Right, we didn't know then. Uh, so now the median sold price year to date in the counties up 20%, 19.81 to 807,000. Average sold price is 1,029,667, and that's up 25%. Per it's just crazy, but I think some of that on the average sales price is pushing that number up as we've had quite a few more expensive properties sell, um, expensive beach property and ranches and larger properties. And so you sell a few of those really high dollar uh, properties, and I think it skews the number up. Well, yeah, anything on the market right now, in any market, if it's on the market, it's going to be sold. Yes, that's for sure. And if it's not, um, there's definitely got to be a reason. <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason, and everybody knows about it very quickly, especially yeah. all the buyers. Uh-huh, for sure. Yeah, we heard about one came on the market this past weekend. It was actually open. Yay, we can do open houses. So call us. Let's list your house so I can do an open house. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, it has over 20 offers. And it's a property in original condition, probably 50 years old. And it had 20 offers in two days. So that's crazy. Um, uh, median days on market is down from 40 to 21. 
down 47 and a half percent and average days on market from 58 to 31 46 and a half percent so we're trending kind of right in that um, national number of 50 percent down so that's that's an amazing board you've got today it's just amazing i know crazy but we always like to bring you the latest numbers you stay up to date with what's happening in the market so on the flip side of the sellers we have the seven realities of buyer fatigue can you believe it buyers are, are getting fatigued they're, they're writing offers anytime like Lisa just said 20 offers on an original this house was like a time capsule 50 year old house nothing had been touched in 50 years now they kept clean that's for sure but 20 offers so 19 people walked away and didn't get the property so there is some buyer fatigue in the market and the number one is the record high median prices or 13 percent year over year april and that's a national national, national mm -hmm. statistic so doesn't matter where you're at if you did it nationally and your local markets are a lot different than it is nationally but up 13 percent nationally is through the roof mm -hmm. it is and then the record low inventory like lisa said and then the record high percentage of sales over list price so most homes today are going out over list price yeah, it's trending when it first hit 100.05 percent we were kind of shocked it's never been that high before but it's trending up even higher than that now it is is mm -hmm. they're selling quicker for more money yeah and then record low days on the mar on the market like we just talked about they're selling right away um, and we still have record low interest rates interest rates 2.97 percent bouncing right around three percent that's insane and we'll talk about that in a minute on why what that why that matters now how low did they actually get because they're up slightly right a couple of ticks up slightly but they're still kind of bouncing around three up a little down a little um but they got down I mean, we know people that got them like down close to two percent on refinances yeah two and a quarter yeah sure. two and a quarter so that's crazy so those people have already done their refinances and refinances are starting to slow down because it's been around two to three, well, let's say two and a half to three percent, three and a half percent for a while now. This isn't something that was brand new when it first was like, oh my gosh, we're in the twos, open up the door, everybody rushed in to refinance. Now, I mean, when we're leveling off around three percent, the people that were rushing in already refinanced and the people now are taking their time so there's less refinances in the pipeline yeah and half of the houses that were listed in april went pending in a week or less so that is a lot and then 19 percent of the homes sold in april because that's the stats we have on this little section their appraisal value came in less than the contract price so when prices are moving up so fast the closed comps aren't keeping up with the market so the appraisals come in light which means the buyer is coming in with cash, usually to make up the difference. Yeah, that's one in five of people that are buying a property and getting a loan, or at least getting an appraisal, or coming in below the contract price. Mm -hmm. That is pretty major. Yes. We haven't seen that before. That's for sure. Yeah, so what does that lead into? The next section was about national payment to income ratio. So the affordability is actually going down. So you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, over the last 25 years, you have okay, a visual oh my gosh, okay, so this is the last 25 years, 23.6% of the borrower or buyer's income was used to purchase the house. In the last five years, that's gone down to 20%, 20.1%, and that's 20.5%. So actually people are using less of their income to purchase property today than basically they have in a lot of years i mean 30 years so you would think with this dramatic increase in prices that it's costing people the borrowers more but it's not it's actually costing 20 percent of their income to pay their payment um, so that was kind of surprising given all the other factors going on in the market so i thought it was important to let you know that especially if you're a buyer in buyer fatigue mode <laughs> <laughs> that's right it's like oh my gosh i lost out on another one nobody likes to do that you go through all the steps to make sure that you're approved, you have an offer written, everything's perfect, and then you don't get the house. And that can only happen so many times without at least feeling a little bit fatigued. Yes. But what I can tell you after all the years, decades of doing this, the one you end up with is always the best one for you. 
And you get better at it, you know. What I mean by that is usually you say, hey, this is the list price. The last couple, three or four that I've missed went out over X amount over. Let's go to Y. I want to make sure I get this one. And by golly, sometimes it works. Yep. On that note, the, uh, another thing I want to talk about is all cash sales are growing. So in April of 2020, 15% of all the sales were all cash. In October of 2020, 19% of sales were all cash. And here we are, April 2021, 25% of all sales are all cash. So that has got to be a record all time in this market. And so people that have the wherewithal and the cash, they're paying cash. And then after they close, they're going back and refinancing and getting their money out. But they can compete up front with cash. So, I mean, that is huge. That's, again, a quarter of the market. They're paying cash. We're experts in this area. We look at homes and prices and real estate nationally, locally, street by street. So we are on top of it. This is what we do. This is, we love what we do. We're right in the thick of it. Yeah, if you have questions, we'd love to see them. You can always comment here below, Facebook, Instagram, or always DM us. If you have a question, we'd love to answer it here on the show. If you're watching us on the replay, hashtag replay. And we love to talk about real estate. Absolutely. GaryLisa.com. Your real estate edge.